Joseph, we are drawn to his obedience, to his quietness, to his thorough, obedient decency to the commandments of the Lord. And we're often tempted to think that the key example he sets for us is in getting out of the way, not making too much fuss, following the Lord's commands in a quiet, faithful, reverential obedience. But the language that the angel uses when speaking to Joseph in his dream is far more active, far more dignified than simply getting out of the way. He's told to take Mary home and to give Jesus a name. And both of those activities hearken right back to the creation of Adam. Adam was called to share in the creative power of God precisely by making the world a home and by naming the things that were around him. And so Joseph is here invited not only to get out of the way, but to participate in God's recreation of the world by naming Jesus and making a home for the Holy Family. He's given a co-creative role in the renewal of the human family. And in many ways, that seems to me especially fitting for one who was a carpenter. For in the hands of the carpenter, that which is old and ancient is recreated and made new. I don't know much about carpentry, but recently a friend of mine has been training as a luthier and she makes guitars. And it struck me just how much of working with wood is not actually about imagination, but observation. You have to look, feel, touch, sniff, hear how the wood sounds before you can know how to fashion it into something new and extraordinary. This is a looking, a listening, a feeling, not just of the wood, but of the past which generated that wood. The weather conditions hundreds of years ago are built into this piece of timber and how it sounds and feels and what it can do. And it's all of that which passes through the home of St. Joseph. All of the past of human struggle and quest for liberation. All of the past of God's dealings with humanity in the nation of Israel pass through the home and the hands of Joseph and Mary and are made new. The hands of the carpenter elevate and raise that which has gone before. And so it is with us when we gather to celebrate the Eucharist. Through the hands of the priest, all that is old is raised and made new. And by the reception of God's grace in God's hands, our lives with all of their oldness and all of their history are rendered new, recreated and made alive. St. Joseph, pray for us.